Battle of Plattsburgh was a major invasion. An invasion recreated for nearly two decades. This is going to be the 19th year of the Battle of Plattsburgh commemoration. The four-day commemoration is as much a party as a living history lesson. There's just something for everybody during the weekend, and we try to make it that way. The tradition is something special for the hundreds of reenactors. They take to the streets as members of the British and American militias, taking the rest of us back in time. Okay, we're into the two years into the War of 1812. The British have um, defeated Napoleon, so now they have all these troops ready to fight. The reenactors camp out at the Kent DeLord House all weekend, and as Captain Craig Russell will lead the American forces into battle. This year's celebrations feature two new reenactments. The third, a classic, held on the water Sunday on the Plattsburgh Bay. It is going to be loud. We're going to be using artillery. We're going to have musket firing, rifle firing, and the likes. No live ammunition. You and your family won't want to miss it. For the kiddos, be sure to catch the big parade and the Children's Old Time Village Fair. For the grown-ups, stop by the tavern at Trinity Episcopal. If you're planning on coming out this weekend, you're going to want to be sure to get a button. They're $15, they get you into the encampment, the concerts, and a variety of other events. It's also going to come with a schedule to make sure you don't miss anything. It's a wonderful community weekend, and if you don't know Plattsburgh, you'll know it after you come here this weekend. History tells us the British were defeated. They went to the peace uh, table, and the war ended. The Treaty of Ghent ended the War of 1812, but this year's commemoration is just getting started. In Plattsburgh, Leanne Denyer, NBC5 News.